Hello there, today I'll be showing you how I make wardrobes in AI house. You will see my entire workflow progress on how I design the wardrobe from the floor plan to wardrobe design and inner detail design. Now first of all, let me get rid of this room. We will get a new room here, start from the beginning. And we can also edit the room height here, it's 3950. The default height will be 2800, but I've already inputted the client room height here. You can change that however you fit, however you see fit, depending on your client. Yep, okay. Now, go into Roam here. We can see our room has the correct height. Now we will edit the room values, the, the walls. Now this wall is only 2960. And then there is... Uh, this one is a bit special. There's actually there's a corner here. I will draw a wall here. I'll delete these two walls. And then this wall is only 1,370. And this one is only 2,390. Okay. And now this one, it's unknown. But I will give it 1,800. Now the reason why I gave it 1,800 is because the cabinet is 600 in depth and then we will give them 1,200 of walking space. Okay, now let's add the doors. This door here is, let's put it 1 meter and then we will give this maybe 700 I think. 700 should be enough. Yep. And now we will... Mm, let's put this wall here. Just put a second door, turn off proportion, give it a length of one meter. And now we're done with the doors. Let's give this maybe 200. 200 seems fine. Go back to Rome. Now you see here the doors are just leading onto the outside. Now when we render this, natural light will come in from these doors because this will be the outdoor scene, depending on uh, what scene you put in your render. It could be night view or day view. In, this, in the case of day view, there will be a lot of natural light coming from these doors, and we don't want that. So we will just put a room right outside these doors. Now, the exact rooms we don't need to care about. This one maybe it could be a bathroom from how small it is. And then there's this one will be the entrance from the master from the master bedroom. Okay, let's put a room here. Now we go back into Rome. And see here that the doors are connected properly. And the next step, I would just install some flooring, custom flooring, because this default flooring doesn't look so good in rendering. We will just put this here, and you can see the tiles are a bit just, just a bit too small, so we can edit the values here. Change the height; mm, it's a bit too much. Change it back to one thousand two hundred. Okay. And just drag and drop here. There are many on the top right. You can see. This menu here, you can just drag and drop it in here. And now we're done with the flooring. You can see here it's all installed. Go back into 2D and rename this room to Master. Now we will go back to Rome and start designing our wardrobes. In this video, I'll show you how to design this A wardrobe, which will be on this side of the wall. Now we will go into wardrobe design. The ID8 is empty, so we go to AI House. Always remember to click onto the AI House library when you enter any kind of custom design. Now in this wall, we have 2.9 2 meters of thing of a wall. First, we need two vent panels on each side. 4.0 wardrobe library. We go into decorative parts. An accessory, the default menu. We get a vent panel out, we just drag and drop it. You can see this one. It's, we need to change the attachment side to horizontal right. And we will copy paste it. And we can just edit this value to make it stick to the wall. And we will change this to horizontal left attachment. Now, our vent panels are usually 8 centimeters. So let's can select both of these together at the same time by holding down control key. And left clicking, so now it's both selected at the same time. So we can edit the width to be 80, which is 8 centimeters. Now you see this one is in the wall. In this case, we can 
just edit the 30 to make it zero. And then we go to the 30 value and we change it to a zero. We press enter. Now we have two vent panels that are 80 that are 80 millimeters or eight centimeters. And now we want to install a swing door cabinet. We can go into the swing door wardrobe in the design library because this one is more customizable compared to the 4.0 wardrobe or expert library wardrobe. Now see here, once we drop it in, it just snaps into the correct, snaps it to, to fill the entire area. And now these dimensions are not correct, so we need to, we need to modify them. To modify it, we will take 2800, we'll divide it by 3, because we have three sets of cabinets, and we see that 933.3333 is the size of each cabinet if we divide it by 3. So we can come here, just put 930, then we can just copy paste this. Now we have three cabinets and there's 10 millimeters of extra. We can give that to the center cabinet. And the center cabinet will become 940. So now we have cabinets that fill the entire area. Three cabinets exactly. However, you know, in production, we can have two cabinets to, that share the same boards. So let's say make this 933. This one will be 933 plus 934 in width. We will now add a neutral panel in the middle to separate these two cabinets. We'll edit this to be 906. We can see here that this distance is it's only 897. In this case, we need to increase this single cabinet width and decrease the double cabinet width. Now the reason why this it's different because this double cabinet ha only has one panel in the center while the single cabinet you can see that there's two panels between them. So we need to distribute the two panel width into these three cabinets. So after some editing I found the correct width for the right cabinet to be 939 and the left cabinet to be 1861. Just adjust this mid panel we have 904 and 903. Now we will install door panels for our cabinets. We will select, oh, first we have to edit the plinth height to be eight. Our standard plinth height, or we call this the bottom skirting. Any skirting for us is eight centimeters standard. So the reason for why we have skirting is because it will be easier later on to just cut the skirting if the measurements were inaccurate. Now standard, we have two, 2068 to be our bottom cabinet height. This is the standard for when we are making a cabinet that's 2700 in total height. So we have the bottom 2068 and the cabinet will be 552. We will also have a top. In this case, our bottom cabinet will be 2068. But in this client's case, they want the cabinet of 2.9 meters. Our bottom cabinet can be 2.4 meters instead. The and the top cabinet will be 500. Now we put the top cabinets on. The top cabinets, you see it's 600, it's over the height. Total will become, it will become three, 3 meters instead of just 2.9. We need to decrease this height by 180. And the reason for that is because we need 8 centimeters for our top skirting, or it's called the crown molding in a house. Now, to install the top skirting, we will select the top cabinets at the same time by holding down left, control and then left clicking. And we will right click, and then in the, in the menu, there's a line. And inside the line menu, there's a crown molding installation. Click that. We will select the, the model. It will be a flat model, unless you're doing a European design. Material for now, let's just select any random wood material. The height to be 80, because that's our standard height. And afterwards, we have to edit the height of the vent panels to be 2.9 meters. And actually, 420 is a bit too little for a top cabinet. It will look unbalanced if the bottom is too high and the top is not that high. Let's edit it to be 620 at the top, decrease it by 200 at the bottom. So bottom cabinet will be 2200 and our top cabinet will be 620. Now let us install the doors Then go into here, install door panels and select the cabinets to install the doors and select double door and install door for each of the cabinets. Now you can see here in this cabinet where we used a mid panel to select to separate these two cabinets, the doors are overlapping each other. Now the reason for that is because in, in the AI house, the doors usually uh, cover up 18 millimeters of board of whatever board they're being installed on. In this case, this 18 millimeter board is being shared between two doors. So what we want to do is decrease each door by nine millimeters so that they share the mid, pa mid panel equally. 
So we will move the, the door on the left side of that mid panel by 9 to the left. And then we will move the door on the right side of the mid panel by 9 to the right. In that case, you will decrease both of the doors width by 4.5. And then you will move the right door by 4.5 to the right. And for the right cabinet of that big cabinet that we separated using a mid panel, the right cabinet, the doors are also overlapping because we've moved the left door over by 9. Now in this case, we will decrease the left door width by 4.5 and also the right door width by 4.5. And then we will move the right door to the right side by 4.5. Okay. Now we spread this width properly across all the doors. And you can see now that the doors are properly installed. Now let's now move on to the top cabinet doors. We'll do the same for the top cabinet as the bottom cabinets. Now you might be asking why don't we make these cabinet doors to be all the way to the top? That's because this cabinet will be too high. Our door heights allow up to 2.7 meters for our door panels. But this one is a bit just a bit over 2.7 meters. So the doors will bend and the, the structure cannot be guaranteed. The reason why we have separate doors for the top and bottom cabinets is because if we did only one door, then the height, the total height of the door will be too much and the door might bend or deform after a short amount of time. Because our maximum tolerated height for our doors is only 2.7 meters. Anything higher than that, we cannot guarantee that it won't bend. So for this customer, we will have to separate the bottom and top cabinet doors. And also you can see here that the doors are sticking out of the cabinet and the side panels and the top panel are not at the same plane as the door. So we will move the vent panels and the top panel, top skirting out. Right, first, we can add 18 to the depth vent panels, side vent panels. And then for the top skirting, we will go into the advanced menu. You can see here there's a front extension. We will put 18 in here. And, and so now we have the doors and the skirting are at the same plane. And for the bottom skirting, we have the option to install an extra door panel at the, at the very bottom for the skirting to cover up the bottom skirting. So all the skirtings and the doors will be the same color. To do that, we will install a wood panel here. Uh, I can just do it the quick way. I'll just copy paste this door and I'll make it into a fake door and adjust the size so it fits. It covers up the bottom skirting exactly. Now here you can see that the vent panel there's a line in the center, right? This line does not match the, the line on the doors. So to do that, we'll edit this parameter here. It'll be 2200, which is the height of our bottom cabinet. Now after we have the cabinet model done, we'll move on to cabinet design. So we can first select the material for our cabinet by right-clicking inside the room and going to all materials, cabinet material, and for this client, they are using type of gray oak. This exact material from our showroom is not inside the AI house database. We have to look for materials that look similar. In this case, this gray oak looks similar to the North American gray oak. You can get that by searching gray oak inside the solid wood material. 